Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com. And today I just have a quick tip on how to practice bar chords or how to start getting into them. I actually just had a lesson with one of my students the other day and we were trying to learn Photograph by Ed Sheeran. And if you don't know, the chord progression does have a B minor in it, which is one of the more common bar chords that people need to know. So. I broke it down and came up with a method that worked for that particular student and maybe it'll work for you. Ultimately your goal is to go from D to B minor, nice and clean, but it's a pretty big jump to go straight from you know not really playing bar chords to being able to make a B minor chord out of thin air perfectly. So let's break it down into a few other steps that'll make this a lot easier. And if you're not familiar with B minor in particular, all you gotta do to make that chord, a really simple way, is you make your A minor chord, but saving your first finger. So you just play an A minor chord, and instead of playing it like you normally would, you have to figure out how to do it with your second finger right there, your pinky, and your ring. That saves your first finger. Then you just slide up one, two times, and you put your first finger along the second fret, just barring the second fret. And you could bar all six strings or just five strings and have the tip of your finger lightly touch that low string. But that's that's a talk for another day. For now, whatever, you know, just do, do your best with that. Anyways, as far as breaking it down so that we can make this shape easily and, you know, training it into our muscle memory without just going D, B minor over and over again, because if you do it that way, you might memorize your mistakes. You know, you might get your finger a little bit off over and over again and just reinforce a bad habit. We need to break it down to the very bare bones level. So we start off with D and we're actually going to go into a power chord shape. That's just three strings. It's the second fret of the A string, the fourth fret of the next one, and then the fourth fret. If you play any like rock music, that shape is super useful. You can just move it all around the fretboard. You know, it's a ton of stuff. Anyways, so we just have that part and that's part of the whole chord. You know, the power chord is contained within the full bar chord shape and it helps you get that shape, you know, it helps you get that claw shape where you're just digging in and you get all your fingers in the right spots. So let's try that. That's the first step that I gave this student was, her name is, uh, let's make up a name, uh, Laura, you know, it was Laura. So I gave Laura this, go from a D chord to a B power chord, over and over. over and over from a D chord to a B power chord. All right, so that's the first step. Now from there, I wanna work on the other end of it. I wanna go from D into this. So before we were doing the power chord, we were doing like the bottom end of it. Now we're getting this part of it, the fingertips. You know, the, these three fingers are in charge of making the shape. This finger is in charge of barring. So we're just focusing on those three. We're gonna go from D just to these three. And don't worry about the rest of the strings, just those three. And you do that a few times till it's comfortable. Now the next step is to put together everything we have so far. We go from D into our power chord, and then we add our middle finger right there so that we get that shape as well. So we have our two, four, four, three. And the top string's still open. You can see I'm not barring yet. We go from D into those four notes. So we're just focusing on pressing those four frets with our fingertips. You do that a whole bunch of times. So at this point, all that's left to do is put together the full bar chord, but we can do it using the steps that we just outlined. So we have our D chord, and then we go to our power chord, add our middle finger, and then flatten out the bar. Three steps, power chord, middle finger, flatten. D, power chord, middle finger, flatten. You just try to do it as quickly as you can. 
at first, make sure it's slow and perfect. But as you get better at it, you'll be able to kind of go through it until it's eventually one fluid motion where you just get it right away. You know, but I noticed like when I was slowing down videos of even myself chord switching, I realized that having my hand go into the shape before I even press down on the strings, that's the ultimate goal. And that's why with this method, you're gonna get that power chord thing down right away. You know, and that'll train your hand to go from being like this to being in the right, you know, orientation with your thumb nice and low and all that stuff. Now, if you find that you need help with stuff like this, you know, you're still working on your bar chords. I have a course that's out that goes exclusively over bar chords. It teaches you how to prepare for bar chords. So the first couple chapters, we don't play any bar chords, but we learn all these things that are needed in order to play bar chords. And the cool thing is, those are things from actual songs. It's not just some stuff I made up. They're real shapes that people use in songs that are part of bar chords. They're the starting steps. And then about halfway through, we actually start using our bar chords and we figure out all this cool stuff that we can do with them, how to take it a step further. It's not just playing F and B minor. You know, I show you how to play blues chords, all sorts of stuff that's bar chord related as well. How to arpeggiate, use triads, and it's not even that difficult, you know? It'll, I'd say this course is from like beginner intermediate into intermediate, you know? And no matter where you're at, if you're interested in taking it beyond just strumming chords, you know, like G, C, and D, this is the way to go. Anyways, uh, I hope you had fun and that this lesson helped you out. Uh, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.